138 MMA here to catch you guys up to speed on the late addition to the card for this weekend's card. It was added on Sunday. I recorded my video on Sunday. This was added after I finished recording my video, so it didn't make the full card preview and predictions video. But you can check that video out right after this one on the channel, so that's no big deal. But for now, we're going to break this fight down. This was a last-minute replacement. Melsic Bogdazarian was originally scheduled to take on Joe Anderson Brito. Bogdazarian broke his hand. He's out of the fight. So Brito is going to stay in the matchup, but he's now going to take on Lucas Alexander, coming in 5-0, and coming off the regional scene, stepping in last minute to get his shot in the UFC. This is a tough matchup for him. He gets a 4-1 and in his last five fights. Joe Anderson Brito, who's had some success in the UFC most recently, getting the TKO win over a a pretty darn good Andre, or uh, yeah, Andre Feely, um, who showed he's got the skills to stick around still at this point in the UFC against Bill Algio in his last fight. Brito put him out of there. So Brito has been looking pretty good. Lucas Alexander coming off the regional scene. Obviously, he's been looking pretty good there. Let's see where we can kind of mix and match and look at some of the different skill sets that they have and see how it shakes out for you in the picks perspective. So for Lucas Alexander, we're going to start with him because he is the short notice replacement. So we're going to start it with him on this short notice card here, or short notice edition. Like I said, the competition is kind of all right. Not good, not bad, just all right. Um, I don't I don't look at his competition as like he's been getting fed cans, so that's good. Um, and on the regional scene, if you're getting opponents that aren't just total cans, that's good. Uh, so for him, a bit of a kickboxer more so than anything, but his kicks are his best asset. He can throw his hands, don't get me wrong, but his kicks are much more favored as far as his strikes go. Uh, he does change up the levels, legs, body, head. Um, he'll change the angles on them as well. So, you know, he can come upwards, through, coming across, coming down the pipe, whatever. He can mix those kicks up from wherever the fight is. He can throw those kicks. He can throw them while he's moving forward, moving backwards, side to side. Mixes it in really well. So his kicks are good. I do like that about him. And that'll help him keep a range that he should he most likely want to keep. I didn't mention the height, but he is 5'11", whereas Brito is 5'8", according to the stats um, that I saw anyway. Uh, but for Lucas Alexander, if he can keep the range here, that's going to be his best weapon so he can implement those kicks into the striking. For Brito, on the other hand, he's very aggressive and he has good pressure. I really like that about Brito. And he throws bombs the whole time. The dude is just slinging bombs right out of the gate, gets after it, does not wait around for anything. And if he can bridge that gap, cover the distance and stay outside or inside of the kicking range, excuse me, inside of the kicking range, he can start throwing those hands. And I think Alexander's going to have a tough night if he can do that. However, the opposite is then true, obviously, for Alexander. If he can keep that range at kicking range and Brito is not able to land his big power shots with the hands, well, Alexander's going to be having a little bit more success there, most likely. So for me, when I look at these two fighters here, for me, we have a couple of things that go into my pick. First off, Brito knew he was fighting this weekend, so that's good. Um, Brito has experience in the UFC. Another good one there. And Brito hits like a train. So I don't know if you've ever been hit by a train. I'm sure it's very similar to what, what it's like to get hit by Joe Anderson Brito. Obviously not. I mean, I'm embellishing a bit here. But he hits really hard. Obviously, he dropped uh, Andre Feely. In his, uh, in his last time out, and Feely's pretty tough, man. He's hard to put away. So for me, I'm going to lean Brito. I do think he's going to be able to uh, to close that distance, get out of the kicking range, and get into more of a boxing range. Um, he be, he's going to be able to work those hands, get those shots off, and I do not think that Lucas Alexander has, has had the time to prepare for someone with as much pressure as Brito is going to be able to bring. But you let me know in the comments what you think. If you've made it this far in the video, hit like for me. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this, more previews, predictions. And if you haven't already, go check out my full card breakdown. I've done all the rest of the fights outside of this one, obviously. For this, this whole fight card coming up, Viviane Arrujo taking on Alexa Grasso this weekend, October 15th, here in the States anyway. If you would like to go watch that video, go check it out right after this one. You can find it on my channel. I'll even link it in the description. But like I said, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next video.